Team chemistry is just really important, so in preseason we do partner meals that go out for an hour, no phones, nothing, just the two of them bonding them, and I think that's really great. You know, these kids, I love coaching these kids. These kids are awesome. Cool kids, love them. Hope you enjoyed watching. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> signing off. Janet and Morgan. Oh, God. <laughs> that looks so weird. <laughs>
Jenna Gray, left side to Plummer. Plummer hammers one! Match point for Stanford. Received by Catherine Plummer, bump set from Hens, right back to Plummer for the win. She got it! And Stanford's moving on to the final four! Hart gets it back. Hart blocked back by Stanford. Miller finds Morgan. Morgan is rejected by Madeline Gates. And Stanford middles on fire here to start. 24-22 Stanford, one point away from going back to the national title game. Jenna Gray to Plummer from the back row. And she got it, Catherine Plummer with her 26 kill. Sends Stanford back to the title game. All the same stuff as last time, just be as advantage. Don't make it an event. Make it about the volleyball. There's gonna be a lot of stuff going on. The sooner we can find that, the better we're gonna be off. Everyone like take a deep breath. This is a match that we've been preparing for all year, and we are absolutely ready. There's gonna be it's just volleyball and there's gonna be huge points, but to be honest, like one point doesn't win the match. Do this for each other, do it for ourselves. We got this. We'll just keep up the fun, keep up the smiles. Let's go guys. The wait is over, and it's time to decide a champion. Will it be the Stanford Cardinal looking for their third title in four years and ninth overall, or the Wisconsin Badgers hoping to make history with their first ever championship? Stanford has two huge edges. Number one, their experience. This group of seniors won with Inky Ajanaku. They were the Inkettes three years ago, two titles in the last three years. And they have Katherine Plummer. She was two-time National Player of the Year, out for a while this year, but back from injury and better than ever. On the Wisconsin side, they're battle-tested. They have a really balanced offense, and they've got a very improved serving and passing game, and they're going to have to use that to knock Stanford out of its offense. 17th national final for the Stanford Cardinal. As I've mentioned, they've won more than anybody else. For the Wisconsin Badgers, their first appearance in the championship was in 2000. It was another 13 years before they got back. And now, in 2019, the Badgers are looking for their first ever championship. Fifth meeting all time, third in the NCAA tournament between Stanford and Wisconsin. Stanford is a perfect 4-0. What a set. Morgan Hintz just dropping a dime to Katherine Plummer, who tucks it down the line. Madeline Gates, who is on a tournament record pace for efficiency, just putting up unbelievable numbers. She has yet to commit a hitting error in the tournament. Good touch by Hintz. And Fitzmorris, the ball was dug, but Ashburn was on the floor as well and could not recover. Wow, Stanford has been flawless throughout the course of this tournament, and even better than that so far tonight against an outstanding Wisconsin team. There's nobody else in the country that can hit that shot except for Plummer, and on the wrist away here. Catherine Plummer is just lighting up Wisconsin right now. Jenna Gray with a nice block touch. And Gates down the line. Wow, Madeline Gates just having a phenomenal tournament. Nice play. Plummer off the block and not there. What a play. That's what this team has been all about. The ball was called out of bounds. It's 23-20 now. Point to Wisconsin. The evidence has to be absolutely irrefutable. Match point, the ball is in. Perfect pass. Gates for the championship. Stanford now stands head and shoulders above the rest.
I think the overwhelming feeling that I have is right now uh, is that I'm kind of sad that this time with these uh, great young women to my right and the rest of the seniors is over. Uh, I'm certainly glad that we can go out the way that we did. I think, you know, I'm, for them, it's, it's uh, an amazing, and they played amazing, all three of them, and all, all the seniors played great tonight as well as the rest of the team. But uh, I'm going to miss them as people. You know, I think I'm, certainly they're great volleyball players, but I'm going to miss them as people a lot more. Uh, just really excited that they can go out the right way. Obviously, it feels incredible. I feel like it's such a whirlwind of emotions. We definitely took a different path than I was expecting. The season didn't go how I really expected it to go at all, but I guess the ending is all that really matters, so perfect ending for us. This is kind of the cherry on top. We set out to, for this to be our goal this season, just like every other season, but to be able to do it, like our last time on the court, to just finish in this way, and to just be able to play with our best friends for one more time, I think that this one's a little bit sweeter just because it's our last time together. Um, and we're not going to be able to have this feeling again. This is a really great way to, for us to go out and to go out with this group of people who ha happen to be some of our best friends. I'm really sad that it's over, actually. I came in and I'm like, it's over. <laughs> so it's, it's nice to go out on top, though. I personally will think about this group not at their accomplishments as volleyball players, but much more as, their, as who they are as people and what they brought every single day and um, how much I care and love, about, love them and how much they care and love for each other. Definitely going to the Keefs, it was really awesome to see the support that the alumni have given the program, and I feel like because of that, um, I found a second home here. Safer Volleyball is definitely my second family. Um, I think everyone feels that. And to go, be able to go to the Keefs house, they welcomed us with open arms, and that's how I felt when I came into this program. I just felt really welcomed. Um, and this is like a second family to me. I'm so glad I picked Stanford. I like how we were the first ones down here. <laughs> we're here for swag bags, and I've been waiting since Saturday night for this. Look at that ass. Ziki. Have you been hiding? No, I just saw it. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Wow, that is beautiful. Catherine, beautiful penmanship. You must go to Stanford. Look at me. Wow. Morgan. Morgan, let me see your. Let me see your. I, know, I thought I had a record of food. You're out. <laughs> okay. What are we doing? Smile. Uh, Plummer, come here. Come here. Say something nice about that story. Say, hi, I'm Captain Plummer. I am Captain Plummer. I am the National Freshman Player of the Year. <laughs> guys, it's Jenna. It's Adriana here. Thanks so much for coming out to Kansas City. Thank you so much for all of your support. Go guard! <laughs> Every day at work, I just sit at my desk and I think about volleyball all day. I love volleyball so much. <laughs> Last question, what's your favorite type of cookie? Uh, I'd say chocolate chip. The seven of us were talking about how excited we are to, after we're all old and graduated and moving on with our lives, how excited we are to go to each other's weddings and reconnect. And I think that that just really shows that this group is just so close and such good friends. And our friendship really expands beyond volleyball. And I'm just so excited to stay close with all of these girls for the rest of my life. It's been really special playing with these girls because um, everyone's just so supportive and uh, you know, also really amazing players. Um, so it's been really fun getting to know everyone and getting to play with everyone for this season. Oh.
It's incredible. Playing Stanford Volleyball is everyone's dream and then getting to play with my twin sister is indescribable. I wouldn't have been able to do it without her. We're roommates, we're best friends, and somehow we got even closer over these past four years. So Michaela is my rock and I can't imagine it without her. Our class is really special. I, um, each person brings like a different personality, very much so, to our class, and I think that's what really does make it so special. And I think, again, through everything that we've been through, uh, we're very close. And I, I'm excited because I know after we graduate, we'll remain close and be able to uh, spend time together going forward.